Guten tag, y'all. It's Wednesday. Time for some drinking and some tooling. Uh, weather's kind of iffy here right now. Kind of raining off and on. So if we lose everything, we'll just blame the weather. So, to get to the important thing right off the bat. Tonight we are drinking... Blue Owls Van Dam. This is the second one that I picked up from Blue Owl uh, out of Austin, Texas. I can't tell you how much I dig uh, the beers that they're doing over there. Everything I believe, everything they do is a sour ale, which I just really like. So uh, this is what we'll be sipping on tonight. And tonight we are going to be tooling something a little different than normal. It's sort of a mashup between uh, traditional Japanese, uh, uh, you know, sailor art, or you know, uh, I'm sorry, not sailor art, but Japanese uh, tattoo uh, flash art. So it'll be a koi fish, but it'll have a twist, seeing how. Uh, it, you know, in, in the in television right now, the zombies are a big thing. So tonight we're going to be tooling a zombie koi fish, which I think is going to be uh, pretty fun. Let's take a look at this art. Let me get some lights turned on here. And there we go. So. Here's what we'll be tooling tonight. Like I said, this is a uh, this this will be when it's all said and done. This will be a zombie koi fish, as you can see, sort of the skeletal rib area, whatever will be sticking out. This will be kind of fun. So this is uh, this is going to be fun to tool. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this camera around and get some things going in here, and uh, we'll get going. All right. Okay, let me spin that around and take a look at that for a minute while I get this set up over here. Milwaukee leads Chicago by a game and a half, the Cardinals by a game and a half, Cincinnati by two and a half, Pittsburgh by three and a half. All right. First things first. All right. Let's get to cutting. Cincinnati's lost two in a row. Pittsburgh's lost their last game. So Rio has now retired the first four he's faced, and here is Tommy Pham. Pham hitting 319. That's five homers and uh, 14 runs about it in. Jerko with that ground out will drop out of the top 10 of the National League batting race. Came in hitting 316. 10th in the lead. So, I'm going to get a base hit tonight to maintain that 10th uh, spot here to pitch in the dirt. Ball one to uh, Tommy Payne. How about Toronto, though, with the win today over Cincinnati 5 4? The Blue Jays are a game under 500. Well, I think there's only like, uh, think about how many, how many teams are over 500, John. It's like only 10 teams in all of baseball. Well, Toronto's the only sub 500 team in the AL East. Here's a line drive into right field. The right fielder can't get there. This is a base hit for Tommy Payne. One out of single in the second inning. No wonder he left it. 
Cubs. And then there's Houston, 37 and 16 coming in today on a 16 winning streak. And then the rest of that division is sub 500. Chicago, Detroit, Kansas City, sub 500 in the AL Central. The Mets, Atlanta, Miami, Philadelphia, sub 500 in the NL East. Milwaukee's the only plus 500 team in the NL Central. And then San Francisco, San Diego, sub 500 in the West. In the National League East, there's only one team over 500. The Mets are 23 and 27. Milwaukee is the only team in the uh, Central Division uh, that's over 500. And the Dodgers, Colorado, Arizona, all over 500. So let's see, there's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 teams in the big leagues that are over 500. Everybody else is sub 500. Here's a fly ball into right center, and the right fielder calls. Now the center fielder calls, catches, the runner tags, and goes to second base. Really great base running by Tommy Fan. So the Scotty flies into the center. And those two guys bumped together out there. Tommy Fan tagged up and went to uh, second base. Well, these guys have outfield experience now, but Bellinger is a first baseman, Taylor Hernandez infielders. And the communication was not crystal clear out there. And the right fielder tonight, Hernandez, where Puig has been playing on a regular basis. All right, it's man at second base now, and two outs, and maybe the Cardinals can capitalize on uh, this great base running by Tommy Pham for the John. That's uh, three hits and eight at bats in the big leagues, including a home run. He takes it outside for a ball. You can call that a strike. You call it a ball. It's just the way he's clicking the indicator. Oh, uh, okay. Lee. I thought the same thing on the you first right hand up there. Scotty. Yeah. I'm with you on that. I didn't do a double take. So go a little slower on that uh, indicator. <laughs> Here's the pitch, a swing and a miss. And uh, it's one and one now. Man at second base, two outs. Paul DeJong. He's the Cardinals' second baseman. And he has a chance to give the Cardinals the lead here in the uh, bottom of the second inning. Man at second, two outs, and pitch. Swing a five ball to center. Back goes the center field, and he's going to see it. He's in. And uh, the ball takes one out and goes off the 400 to uh, marker out there. So, uh, Taylor misjudged that one to the benefit of uh, John and the Cardinals. It's an RBI double. He broke in and the ball went over his head. He hit a pretty good pitch and he hit it uh, about uh, 385 feet away. <laughs> but the center field uh, Taylor Misplayed it. So the Cardinals have a chance now to, uh, when I say they're going to walk, uh, Diaz, he gets the intentional pass. They just uh, call out now. That they give All the they do is point. Yeah, they point to first base. And... So he gets the intentional pass. How about the young Mike? He has four hits in the big leagues, two doubles and a homer. I like it. He hit the ball hard all spring. And... He continued that into the Triple A season in Memphis. That's why he's here. And Martinez now could help himself. He's four out of twenty-one with five runs batted in. And the uh, Dodger center fielder knows he's given up a run on that uh, misjudgment there. First and second now, two on, two out for uh, Carlos Martinez, the Cardinal pitcher. Curveball on the beauty of the strike call. Well, that curveball had a hump to it. <laughs> it, it, it moved up and then quickly down. And especially if you're looking for the fastball. <laughs> His eyes came out and they were bulging. Here's the 0 1 pitch now. It's popped up into a shallow right. Right fielder's there, and Hernandez makes the catch. Cardinals strand two. We play two. John Rooney's going to tell you about the third inning. It is nothing, nothing. This is the Bud Life and Beer. Smooth, crisp, beechwood aged beer. Brewed the hard way. No shortcuts. 
Daniel Beer asks, uh, he says he's just getting into leather work. What's the best tip you have for a beginner? Get in there and do it. That's that's the only thing I ever did. I was really scared about jumping in and getting anything done. And the only thing I can tell you is just jump in. Don't be afraid to make a mistake because it's going to happen. Just get in there and just get in there and do it. Just there's lots of lots of things you can look at as far as instructional, uh, you know, videos on YouTube and and things like that. But uh, main thing is to get out there and get your hands on some leather. There's my love. Young at second. That's wall strike. And Paul DeYoung drove in the Cardinal run with a double. Tommy Pham got on, moved up on a fly out, and scored on the double. A one strike pitch. That's in there. All and two to count on Logan Forsythe. He played with the top race. Came over from Tampa Bay after hitting 20 home runs last year. Forsythe has three hits. In seven at bats in the series, and he's walked three times, including the first inning tonight. The breaking pitch is in the dirt, getting away from Yadier <laughs> Molina. Then he moves over, recovers the ball, and puts it to the bat boy who brings a new supply of baseballs out to the home plate umpire, Mike Malinsky. Jonathan Broxton was given his unconditional release. And the Cardinals have a new member of the bullpen tonight, number 53, John Gant. Redbirds picked him up from Atlanta. A swing and a bounce hit, strike three. Got he hangs on. The strikeout is number two for Carlos Martinez. Go along with the walk to 
Forsyth in the first inning. Two up, two down for Corey Seager. Seager got a break from the lineup yesterday. He has four hits in his last nine at bats. He's batting at a 289 clip after his hit the first time up. A pitch in there for a strike. A walk to Forsyth, base hit for Seager is how the night started for Carlos Martinez. And Grandal struck out, and Gonzalez grounded into a double play. A big swing and a foul back to the screen, 0-2. The pitch, a swing and a ground ball to the Cardinal second baseman. Young plays it on the third hop and throws out Seeger. It's a 1 2 3 inning for Carlos Martinez. In the bottom half of the third, the Cardinals will send up the top of the order beginning with Dexter Fowler, 1 0 Cardinals. This is what life sounds like when someone walks through a car dealership. Hmm, that's not a deal. And this is what life sounds like when someone sprints through a Chevy dealership to find a bonus tag. Hear the difference at your local Chevy dealer and find your bonus tag for additional cash allowance on select Chevy vehicles. See your Chevy dealers in the Ozarks. Bonus tag cash allowance varies by model. Limited to select vehicles and dealers. Not visit ChevyBonusTag.com for eligibility. Excludes all models. Not available with some other offers. Take delivery by 53117. See dealer for details. Great golf, unmatched amenities, and exceptional service are waiting for you at Millwood Golf and Racquet Club. Millwood Golf and Racquet Club features an 18-hole championship golf course, two swimming pools, outdoor lighted tennis courts, and a fitness center. Unwind after your game or workout at the 19th Grill and Pub, featuring your favorite cocktails and great lunch and dinner menus. Call Abby at 889-4200 to learn more about Millwood's affordable memberships. Come experience the best club in the 417 area, Millwood Golf and Racquet Club. On your social medallions, then hit the Fiskelis and Branches. Have a nice little warm bowl of Italian wedding soup. Or pair the soup of the day with the chicken parmesan or a meatball bowl. Looking for something a bit more filling? Come home. Because Paschetti serves a variety of delicious Italian favorites, including signature spaghetti and huge meatball plates. You'll find Paschetti on 76 Strip under the beef of pork and giant meatball next to the Starlight Cathedral. <laughs> We have the top of the order beginning with Dexter Fowler. Cardinals and Dodgers game three of a four game series will wrap up the brief homestand at the 1245 game tomorrow. Brandon McCarthy against Adam Wainwright. Ryu's pitch, breaking ball high and outside. Our new care centers, they don't want to change their lifestyle or your address. Garden View has been in business for over 30 years, locally owned. They really know dementia care. Here's the line and the 1 0 pitch for Fowler. That's a strike. And as Ryu got the curveball over. You won't have to move your loved one because continuous care goes from assisted living to skilled nursing if needed. The summer around the corner, Garden View will take care of your parents while you go on your trip. Check that out at Garden View Care Centers, gbcc.com. A pitch inside, ball two, two and one. Our new care centers, Chesterfield, Missouri, Big Bend, and Doherty Ferry, and O'Fallon, Missouri. Three convenient locations. A two one pitch from Hill Jin Ryu. A lefty from South Korea. He's ready to work, so foul is called time. Dexter was out on a fine play by Adrian Gonzalez. The first inning of strike on the outside corner. Mike Malinsky is giving just a little bit off the outside corner, but he's been doing that since pitch one tonight. Ryu works on the abbreviated windup, the pitch. Fowler takes the ball in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. Fowler is beginning to get into his game where he'll look a number of pitches over, foul some off. And then get something he can hit hard. 
nine hits in his last 28 at bats. Three and two to count on Dexter Fowler. With nobody out in the third, a swing and a foul ball out of play off to the right. They say that Matt Carpenter isn't comfortable until he's 32. And he's about as comfortable as anybody I've seen over the years at holding two and working the count back to a 2 2 or 3 2. Well, Dexter Fowler has a 3 2 count here, time called by the Cardinal batter. Pitch number 34 coming up for Ryu, who was ready to pitch, but Fowler was not ready to bat. Now they're together in the 3-2 pitch. Chopped to the third baseman. Goes left, foresight, the throw, just in time. Fowler grounds out for the second time. Let's pause here for station identification on the Cardinals baseball network. It's Cardinal baseball on KTXR FM. 101.3 The Outlaw. <laughs> No, no, Brian. I just saw your comment. No, this is uh, this is just going to be a bifold. This is definitely not a guitar strap. But uh, next practice, we'll talk about that. I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to tool a guitar strap. That might be like a two-session thing. He grounded out sharply to second baseman Chase Ugly with three infielders on the right side like the Dodgers play it now. The pitch. Carpenter checks his swing and takes high. Corey Seager is the only Dodger on the third base side with Forsyth playing in between Gonzalez and Utley. Ryu with the sign from Yasmani Grandal. 2-0 on Carpenter. Ryu's just holding the ball, and Carpenter calls time when Ryu took a step to go into the windup. He's having trouble getting a sign somehow, somewhere. Now Ryu is ready, the 2-0 pitch. Right down the middle, 81 miles an hour, a strike ball. You don't see that. Right, I think our cutting is done. So we're going to... Hit this beer again, and then we'll get get to tapping. Here's the pitch to Carpenter up and in ball three, three and one. Jonathan Bronson was given his unconditional release. So the right-handers in the Cardinal bullpen. The closer, Sean Wano. So as I said a while ago, tonight we're drinking this Van Dam from. Blue Owl out of Austin. This is the second second one I had from them. Um, like I said, I think they do all sour ales, but that's uh, that's totally okay. That's totally okay in my book. The stuff is really good. The three two a swing and a miss. Carpenter strikes out. That's the first tonight for Young Jin Ryu. Get this camera adjusted here. At Shelter Insurance, we know landlords have to keep up with their renters, even if they're related. There we go. A little better angle on that. Not everything works as smoothly as Shelter's renter's policy. It helps cover stuff in case of fire, theft, and death. I just moved back into my old room. Oh, you mean Dad's Medicaid? Oh, man. Shelter Insurance, we're your shield. We're your shelter. The agents are Earl McKinney or Nick Meyer in Branson.
Hi, Kelly. It's uh, good to hear from you. I This evening, I am tooling uh, a wallet back. This is a zombie koi fish. I just thought I'd put a spin on the traditional, uh, you know, like koi fish uh, tattoo sort of thing. And then uh, figured I'd do this... Uh, Kind of make it kind of nerdy because the, you know, zombies are kind of a thing now. So, figure what the heck, we'll just make kind of a mashup. We're also drinking uh, Blue Owls Van Dam Sour Red Ale out of Austin, Texas. Good stuff.
start mixing in those extra base hits. He has four doubles, three triples, and three home runs. He's done a lot of that damage left. Two and two on Ugly, but two outs and nobody going in the fourth. So, my man, Mike Kaufman, a.k.a. Reverend Death Peach, is asking me how thick is the typical leather. Well, for wallets, this is uh, what they call five-ounce leather. Uh, and leather is measured in ounces, so it will be the smaller the number, the thinner it is, the larger the number, the thicker it is. Thicker it is. So, if you look at a typical really good quality belt that's going to be 10 to 12 ounces so I like I like to make the wallet uh, the wallet parts out of uh, four to five ounce uh, that way we can still bend them and you don't have this big hamburger in your back pocket You're quite welcome, Mike. Your uh, guitar strap, that is 10 ounce leather. So if that kind of gives you kind of a base on how thick it is. Needed something really, really good and thick to, uh, to hold your guitar up. Speaking of that, how's that strap holding up? <laughs> like a boss. That's what I like to hear, man. Well, I'm glad to hear that it's your favorite. I really enjoyed making that.
single on a run scored in the second inning. Well, he was a great base, but he tagged up on that fly ball. He was on the first base, tagged up with the second. And then he uh, scored on the, the Jones misplayed ball in the center field. So I see my cousin Ian joined. Ian, you'll be glad to know that we're doing a little Blue Owl tonight, thanks to you. I love this Van Dam, this uh, Sour Red Ale. This stuff is really good. And uh, anytime you want to throw a care package to Missouri, I'm your man. Yeah, fantastic stuff. I love it. I don't know, Mike. I was just uh, thinking about the old superior days. We're just talking about that with uh, with a guy today. So the only thing I got out of superior are scars and some good friends.
takes a curve right down the middle, strike one. Bellinger, he's still on one base. 
Cody Lee's not running. Swing and miss on an off speed with a lead. Down goes Taylor. That's four strikeouts.
Kushner has to make dinner for a family of four. You can shirk that responsibility because my extra crisp $20 fill up from KFC contains eight pieces of freshly double breaded extra crispy chicken, four biscuits, two orders of mashed potatoes, and a side of coleslaw for just $20. That'll feed up. Well, I think it'll be a little shorter tonight. I do have some parental duties I need to attend to. Young man needs to go eat dinner. Uh, one last shout out. Thanks to my cousin Ian for uh, hooking me up with this uh, these delicious beers from Blue Owl in Austin, Texas. These have proved to be uh, some of my favorites. So uh, this uh, Van Damme Sour Red Ale turned out to be really awesome. So uh, 
Big shout out to Blue Owl. I really enjoy their stuff. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around here and we're gonna, we'll take a look at what we've got uh, got accomplished tonight. Oh, that would be awesome. We get a sponsorship from Blue Owl. So let's turn this around. Okay. Get these harsh shadows out of here. So, here's uh, here's a look here. Boy. I think it turned out pretty, uh, it turned out pretty good. This is going to be neat when, once I get it colored, you'll really be able to see the difference. I'll make sure that the eye is dead. Uh, we'll get some good coloring on the scales. You can see the rib bones sticking out here. And of course there's splashes of water, but, uh, this turned out pretty good. This is going to be a neat wallet. Um, Not quite sure what uh, what we're gonna do next week. <coughs> I've always got a ton of stuff that's on uh, is on tap to to try to finish up or stuff that I've been wanting to do. But I've got some really good beers lined up. I'm anxious to try those, but I'm saving those for the Wednesday night feeds. But uh, as always, I appreciate everybody that watching. I know it's a uh, it's a long thing to try to sit and watch all at once, but. Uh, I do welcome everybody to, to come back and you know and watch the video on their at their leisure, if you will. Um, that seems to be the the sort of thing to do. I mean, Wednesday night and people are busy, and I understand, but I really am enjoying doing this. Uh, two of my favorite things: tooling and drinking. So, uh, thanks for coming along for the ride. I, I do uh, do appreciate the support. So. I'm going to go feed Nate, man. You get a little glimpse of uh, Princess Trooper right here in the background, huh? Oh, yeah. That's coming up. That'll be done here uh, hopefully by next week. We can get a shot of that. Uh, so, again, thanks for joining me. And uh, we'll see you guys next Wednesday. And as always, you carry your fandom.